So this video is uh, about digital forensics and data retrieval. And data, um, digital forensics and cyber analysis is very similar to something like CSI, cyber, in, uh, cyber team or whatever. You see these things on the TV. I mean, it's nothing like that, but it's, it's more like a cyber CSI. The actual job when, you, you know, if you're working for the police or something like that. But anyway, we're just going to delve into this um, just very basically, really. I know I've touched on this before on this channel, um, apart from me web developing um, videos. So here we have something that um, you've probably all seen shampoo products before. And this one's called Undeleter. And today it's at 3 dollars And that's UK money, of course. Um, and, you know... Just buy it. I mean, it's a fantastic tool. It it does what it says, and it it undeletes the deleted files. Now, when people say you can get things back from anywhere that's been deleted, and and even if your system is is um, you know being reinstalled and all the rest of it, if your data has been overwritten and things like that, you cannot get your stuff back under no circumstances with no tool available at present. And uh, not even prof professional ones. But this commercial tool, this here is, uh, is as you hope you can see there, um, I'm not sure what my zoom button is at the moment, so I'll take it that isn't it. <laughs> um, anyway, we've got this one here up, and I've got this one here called Access Data. FTK Imager, and this is a professional tool used by professionals. Um, I use FTK Imager, and I also use Autopsy as well. Um, or this is more like a viewer. It shows the files that can be retrieved, and you put it into an image um, called or EO1, as as what um, I use, and that goes into a a program called autopsy and that's where you do all your analysis but on this one here we're just going to look at undulator so here you have windows and also it's a very simple program this is it i mean you've got the options your language um undulator there's nothing really to it but what it does it does well so you got the windows and I've also got an, an SD card in here and the SD card is obviously going to take less time than um, you know so this is what I'm going to do as a demonstration so I'm going to set this away so really what you do is you have options and next to that you've got search and that's basically all it is so we do that right um, and this by the way the FTK one is free but it's a different color fish. When you're using professional products like um, for data forensics and cyber analysis, it is more complicated. This is just very easy to do, but it does the job well. I'm just going to let that go and I'll come back later. So this is, uh, I think that took about 10 minutes to do. Um, like an S, I think it's a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card I've got in there. Right, these are purely just images, and these will actually be very close to what's happened here. So when you've got like as as I said, FTK Imager is a professional tool used by um, people who work with the police, um, say for uh, at labs and universities and stuff like that. Here we have like zero, uh, triple zero one. This file will be lost. It's a regular file of JPEG. That's lost. So that could mean that it's overwritten. Um, so when you get down to this one here, it is called double zero two three dot JPEG. Now this one here is deleted file. But as you can see here on this image here down there, it is a file that's very, very usable. And this will come with something called Firestack, right? So there's all zeros and ones and um, E5s and all the rest of this is like sort of metadata and stuff like that, which is digital forensics. That's forensics time. Um, and just a moment, right here we have, oops, 
give us a second there. Right, here we have uh, all these here, and these are called lost on here. So this is like the equivalent of FTK, where they just don't just cost as a regular file, but no information. So they don't have any information contained in there. So the metadata doesn't count. It's only when you've you've got your your files that you've deleted, but you can actually get them back. They may not be in pristine condition, but you can work on them. So they have the metadata or metadata that you can use. So the, everything's lost on these ones, which does correspond, as I said, 0001.jpg, and that's exactly the same there. That's lost. That's gone forever. Now here with the fair ones. Now this starts off at what I said, uh, 0023.jpg. Now that fair one, I can guarantee that actually comes up as well. And there's metadata when you like sort of right click it under your normal circumstances in your um, you know on your folder wherever you want to put it. So basically the same. Now so this like under later they work the same. The, you cannot do much. You cannot see what the metadata is in a shampoo under later. But for what the price is, and the price was about two two seventy or something the other day as well. So you, if you hit it on a good day, I mean come on. I mean you can there's. When before I started getting into digital forensics and cyber investigation, um, seriously, I, I used to use Undeleter, and um, they always found the forensics um, interesting. I couldn't work with the place. About eighty-five percent, ninety percent of like the stuff is about grooming and and child stuff and things, and and my I couldn't work with that. It's not not for me. Um, I like the retrieving. I like to look at files and see what uh, how you break them down, see what you can actually get back and things like that. Um, and and like so after you know a university uh, course came up and I thought right I'll I'll do that and, and you learn so much about how files work and how how this how professionals use the um, you know like sort of what what you can and what you can't do and you cannot work miracles certainly not at this point in time. There may be programs come in the future where you can actually get back things that's purely and utterly totally lost now, which is fragmented. But anyway, this all, you know, go to what I said. I'll put the uh, the description of the the website and that of Shampoo. I'm not plugging their products. I mean, the they do. I have like put a few on here as I'm using Snap12, which is their screenshot program for this uh, recording. The movie creators absolutely crap, <laughs> but um, but they do do some really good programs. Uh, some of the image editors are good as well. But if you want to just like sort of try out a little bit of data retrieval, this is a good place to start. Does um, not just SD cards, it does your hard drives, does your USBs, doesn't do phones. Um, there's a actually a thing on giveaway for the day today. I don't know in your country how. Um, I, I don't know how many hours is left. Uh, um, I don't know when I got. I got it at the beginning of the day. Just tried it out. I haven't tried it even with a particular phone. Don't know how well it works, but it's it's for nothing. So uh, certainly for a day. But these programs don't get into um, the phone ways. Now with uh, Windows, there's a a phone app. I think I've got. It. No, I haven't got it set up today, but you, you can even do it with um, with Windows and things like that. The old phones, like the old Nokia's and uh, the 3110s or whatever they're called, they're di more difficult to, to get at, but Android and uh, Apple are getting much easier to, to see. Um, you do have to pay for a product, but if you if you like sort of, you know, like wanting to get retrieved and all that, it's a good place to start. I mean, you sort of can catch people doing their... Uh, you know, <laughs> so it's really, with messages and that, you can actually get them back just on a Windows uh, machine. So anyway, I hope uh, some of you found that interesting. I know I, I do uh, find this analysis and stuff like that, uh, where it's not really an analysis video, this one, it's purely about retrieval. So thank you for watching.